This is a cream of rice tutorial video. How to make cream of rice. You know, you just like, you gotta break it down, you gotta explain people like, basically, about 100 grams, you're gonna put 400 ml water in, then put it in the microwave. I know it's a quick, easy video, but it's just long. No, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it? Yeah, that's why I've picked up the camera. Oh, shit. Because oh. if I don't make you do it, you won't do it. Oh, shit. Okay. Right, you bunch of cunts. <laughs> Let's demonetize the video already. Okay, guys, and welcome back to today's channel. We have a cream of rice tutorial for you guys today. Yes, it's been, uh, been about three or four months late, but that's a late than never is what they say. Okay, so today we have our cream of rice. This is the cream rice that I've been using for a good amount of time now. I've been using it for a couple of years, I'd say. Very, very good. I've got 100 grams of cream of rice in a glass tumbler. Now, that's the first important step you need to do. None of this plastic shit, the environment and stuff like that. Apparently, if you get plastic, it fucking kills your testosterone. So, I don't want any of that at the moment. So, glass tumbler it is. First thing we've got is 100 grams weighed out here. We're gonna press zero. Not gonna press zero. We should have put some salt in there. So I've got my salt. Really important. It's like when you put salt into oats, it's delicious, right? It's gorgeous. Same with cream of rice. You need to put salt in it. So a little bit like that. Then we're gonna move on to. <laughs> <laughs> George, we forget how to make cream of rice. Yeah. It's like dry, honestly, sometimes like driving. You know when you like someone when you teach someone to drive and you just fucking forget how to do it. Because you're so used to just doing it, so it's like that. Right, so you need your fork, 100 grams. I normally do a one to four ratio, so if you have 100 grams of cream of rice, guess how much water I'm gonna put in there? 400. <laughs> 400. <laughs> so, Wait, so second guessing yourself for a second. <laughs> nah, I'm good at maths, B maths. 400, any less than that, you guys are fucking, you can't work that out. So if you use 75, <laughs> 200, about 300 ml water that. Is yeah, it? it is. Yeah, it's seven, seven times four is 28. 280. 28, yeah. <laughs> and, and then five, so that's 300. So I've got it right in the fucking See? <laughs> See? I'm actually gonna put 350 ml of water in because off season, food volume and that, I don't need to be making it like I was in prep. So I actually use less water now. So this is gonna be 350 on the dot. I know this so well and I do this every single morning for multiple times a day. Here we have, this will be 350 guaranteed on the dot. Three, four, three. Seven grams off. That's how fucking good I am. Three, four, four. That's how good I am. So just a little lock like that. Now this microwave is, is good. It's powerful. What you'll realize is that the timings I'm about to give you are going to differ for each microwave that you have. So it's very important that you remember that. If you've got some BTEC Dutty fucking microwave, it's probably going to take you about 10 minutes to cook. If you have a good microwave, powerful, strong, it's going to take you half the time, right? So we're going to turn on our microwave. So we eccentrically loaded the finger onto the on button. We're then going to do some isometric hold there. So we're going to hold that isometric pause there for one, two, and then we're gonna do a superset with the door. <laughs> so the door then opens like that, it just magically opens. We're then gonna eccentrically load, control it, control it, in to the microwave. We're then gonna speed the eccentric up just a little because we don't wanna break down muscle fibers and we don't wanna break the door. So I'm gonna close it. I'm then gonna eccentrically load my finger onto the button. And then gonna turn the timer to two minutes. Two minutes. There we go. And then, I'm gonna press play. We're gonna wait here, looking like an absolute nit. With my Primark joggers that's got a load of piss on them, and my top that's probably got stains on them as well. And a bit of a foot fetish for everyone. Yep, there we go. In that time, I'll do nothing. I'll wait. <laughs> I might prepare another bowl of cream of rice. So, as an example, Toria Kowalska behind the camera, she likes 60 grams of weight, was she? She does not like. She, like it. she, she does, does not like. <laughs> she has 60 grams of cream of rice, okay? She likes a little bit more volume out of it. So what we're gonna really focus on in this next one is we're gonna add a little bit more water to it. it takes a little bit longer to cook, but you're gonna have a little bit more volume of it as well, okay? So for any of you gals out there that watch this or anyone that's on really low poverty food, this one's for you. <laughs> this one's for you, okay? So prep people, skinny people, people that are eating on tiny amounts of food. This one's for you, I've got your back, yeah? In a fat kid, people. <laughs> <laughs> Which is me. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? 
There's the microwave telling us we need to check the first round of what's happened here. So, I take out the microwave, as you can see. This is, starts, this is a powerful microwave, so this is cooked really well already. So, I'm just gonna give it a stir. Make sure you get around the edges, because what you'll find is that the dutty dust of the cream of rice gets stuck around the edges. Really important that you get your, your wrist interaction here, guys, I tell you. You know what I'm on about, you know what I'm on about. Get those wrists moving on there. Practice. Just a little bit like this. Look. A little bit like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just get around the edges here like that. I'm gonna assess the bowl. We're all good. And what I mean by assessing, so we're like doing a physique analysis here. So we're just assessing the physique, looking to make sure that's proportionate, you know, symmetry balance in the bowl. And then we're gonna put it in for a minute. So obviously as you get closer to your desired consistency, texture that you like, you need to keep an eye on it, all right? Because it can go from one extreme to the other. You'll fucking get like cement sand. People's cream of rice that are eating it. It's absolutely disgraceful. And I see some of you guys tag me your cream of rices on Instagram. Also, yeah, on that note, tag me on Instagram on your cream of rices and I'll give you a rating out of 10. But um, yeah, some people, they tag me and it's like fucking cream of cement or cream of soup. Like it's just, you disgrace. So they Hashtag go. king of the core. Hashtag king of the core, yeah. It's that little trend, isn't it? Yeah. Hashtag king of the core. Hashtag king of the core. Get on it. Instagram, George Osmond 12. So, fuck. Getting, car <laughs> getting carried away. I fucked. <laughs> getting carried away. I'm talking about you fucking touch. Did you want to see this video? I'm trying to explain it. I fucked up. Oh! <laughs> nah. Okay. Redo, redo. Really? Oh. oh, no, this is a good tutorial because you can show them how to save the cream of rice. This was all planned and pre-prepared. So we're going to show you how to make cream of rice, how to make volume cream of rice, and how to save cream of rice. Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck this. So this actually was a uh, part of the plan. Um, so I'm going to show you. If you do fuck up your cream of rice, okay, guys? It's really important. Like, that's fucked. Like, if anyone says that's okay, that is not okay. Look how, like, burn it is on the top. It's not okay, so what you want to do is you just want to get your water, get a bit in there, because what you need to remember is it's still hot. So technically when you put water in it, shut up! Technically when you put water in it, it's going to cook anyway. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to give it a stir. I need more water than this, because as you can see it's soaking. I'm now putting some water in, as you can see it's getting to the consistency that I like. So sometimes guys, if you fuck up, don't worry. If you fuck up badly, then you'll probably need to start again. But I think I've saved this. A little bit more in there, just give it a little splash around, just, just, just move it a little bit like that. As you can see, get in the, get in the corners. And then I'm getting around like that, so I'm getting back into that wrist action again. So I like to do have mine just a little bit under how I like it, because what I will really... What the fuck am I saying? A I little bit undercooked. A little bit undercooked, a little bit undercooked. Thank you, I have my support worker looking after me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit undercooked, so... the. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, I have it undercooked because what it does is it still cooks while I just sit on the side, so then it gets to the texture that I like. So that's how you do it, and that's how you make cream rice. Look, blosh. We'll let it go down to room temperature. We'll put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, and then what I'll do is I'll show you what happens when we put the whey protein in and then put the blueberries on top. We have 60 grams of cream of rice here, okay? Zero your scale. For this one, Wix likes a little bit more volume. So with 60 grams, I'll put 370 ml of water in. So a little bit more than what I've got. I reckon that's gonna be 375. 434. Should I drink it? Yeah. yeah, I'll drink it. Like uh, Jack Thorpen does. That's what he told me to do last time. Oh my God, you're actually drinking it. It tastes like Nesquik milk. Now Wix. A cream rice does take a little bit longer, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, because obviously there's more water in there. But at the same time, I'll do anything for you, baby. Yeah, there he is. Little boys. Little boys. Where are the little boys? There's the little girls. This is little girl. This is little girl. <laughs> oh, you fucking hell. Oh, she's a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's no way that's 50. We weighed a thing. That's 15 kilos, apparently. I'm 15. 15. Yeah. I'm comparing that to lifting a 15 kilo dumbbell. I swear to God, she ain't that anymore. Maybe you can't lift that anymore. <laughs> Why did you hear that? That means. That means we need to check. We need to check. So. That's, 
done. That's done in a minute and a half. I swear to God, that's done. So, it's hot. It's actually really hot. And I've actually feel like I've burnt my fucking finger. All right, all right. <laughs> Do you mind? Mind your own business. So that is how wicks. That's actually. I've, I said I fucked that, but that's actually perfect. That actually. Ah, uh -huh. welcome wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Ah, uh -huh. welcome. Ah, back. welcome back. So I'm uh, in my shorts. I've just had a shower, freshen up. I'm gonna fucking scruff in the first video. Right, so. We put that in the freeze for about half an hour. It's just, we like it cold. Personal preference. Like you. In fact, if you put your protein in when it's piping hot, it will burn the protein. That's a fact for it. And it won't be as anabolic. I'm gonna add 40 grams of the perform weight in here. That's all I simply do. Obviously, it depends on the protein that you use, okay? So it's really, really important to remember. If you use an isolate, we need to remember that isolates always water down products. So, form weight is great within this. And all I simply do is, Unless you've got some sort of disability and don't know what I'm doing. I'm staring. See, you want to add that in. Oh! Wait for it. Baby! Boom. I've got to admit, first of all, this whey protein is vegan, yeah? It's a little bit, meh. Nah, tastes a little bit chemically, but it's probably the best vegan protein I've tried. Yeah. And let's be honest, most vegan protein is fucking horrendous. You get it from Amazon. Sorry, it's like... What's it called? Cymax vegan protein. Cymax. They've got it in vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry flavor. I can only. Also, Christ. if you guys are hungry, this is a great way to volumize your cream of rice because it adds an extra, like. For reference, because people like, you didn't say the measurements and shit like that. For that's reference, a, this is what it's meant to look like. That's the texture, like custard. 142 so minus. 100, 110 grams. Of this is what I used to do in prep. I used to just put a sludge on top of my cream of rice, but now I actually mix it in. Comes out a little bit thicker, innit? Yeah. And look at the size of that bowl now in comparison to before. Boom. Salt. Perfect meal. Macros might be on the screen if I can be bothered to edit. Great, easy digesting protein with the whey. The cream of rice. You have the dietary fats with the dark chocolate that is not there at the moment, but that's gonna massively help slow the release of carbohydrates, okay? It's gonna give you, obviously there's some research in dark chocolate and the cognitive, the cognitive function of dark chocolate, okay? It's really, really good for brain focus. There's some research out there. Take a look at it, links down below. I love you saying it's good for brain focus and <laughs> proceed to matter on your words. Anyway, we need this. 